Hey there, Taurus, this is Infinity. Thank you so much for joining me for your full moon in Virgo on Saturday, February 27th, 2021. It's coming up here in just a few days. Um, it is in Virgo um, <clears throat> and it's a very potent full moon coming in after, uh, uh, coming in after this 222 portal that we just had a couple of days ago, very potent energy. Um, we've been getting a lot in our readings about taking care of the self coming up into this new time period, self-care, um, cutting cords, doing meditations. Uh, so that's in my wheelhouse. You know, we have, we're in Pisces season. Virgo is ruling this full moon. It's, it is about health and healing and care and love and all that good stuff. Um, so anyway, just let you know what we're doing. We've been doing these really deep dives in and with the signs. They've been over an hour long, around an hour, over an hour long for these uh, reads because we're getting, we are getting deep. I'm not one to rush. I like to go as I'm guided through these things um, as I'm told to, you know, what to do. Um, we've been going completely out of order with the Zodiac for these reads. For each one that I do, I just get out I work with my pendulum I think about the different signs and when I get a yes that that's the sign we're working on and that's the sign we're working with so we've just been going through the whole zodiac also different than usual I usually know I'm just using these decks this oracle deck this tarot deck this oracle you know whatever for a particular set of readings this time around it was get out all of the cards and um actually have one more deck of tarot but we're going to keep it the way it is. I just like, I don't use it that much. So I kind of spaced on it. But anyway, I have five decks of tarot, eight decks of Oracle that we can, uh, that I will get guided to here in a moment that we're going to get through for your read. And we will see what we get. We've been dealing this whole month. Like I said, I was getting into with the 222 portal just a couple days ago. We had the 2, two to 212. Uh, Stargate, we had the 211 new moon, we had Mercury in retrograde, we had the Aquarius stellium this past month. So we've gone through a lot of energy in February, big time. Now, March is coming in and getting this amplification with the full moon energies to head into March to stabilize, integrate on the energies that already came through in February to really get us into position for more upgrades in March. But this is about um, really... Well, our 222 portal was the divine union portal, first of all. So, and that is first and foremost with ourselves, with our souls, um, how we're feeling with um, our connections and um, really feeling and integrating with our, with our soul and our guardian, guardian angels and, um, and archangels and our and our starseed family, our, uh, our dragons, the fae, I work with all of them. I am an earth angel. I am a psychic, physical, empath, medical medium, um, soul guide, and ascension coach. And I work um, very um, specifically and closely with the angels and archangels and Gaia, ascended masters, like I said, fairies, and the fae, uh, uh, the dragons are of angelic origin. I work with them as well. They come through and they're very, very protective and helpful and healing and motivating and inspiring and loving and all these great things. So we may hear from them today. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> Aside from that, um, I am a distance healer, a, an oracle and tarot reader, obviously, so you can book time with me privately. I offer different um, services and packages for healing. I do work worldwide. I'm a distance energy healer, so anywhere you are in the world, we can work together. I also work with animals, um, and I just I offer a lot. I do a lot of different services 
And I just invite you to take a look and see what you see there and see if any of it's for you possibly now or into the future, whenever. Um, I also have eBooks. Um, I have several eBooks, new meditations that just came out this last week here on my YouTube channel and on my podcast um, for healing and all across the board, healing abundance and, abundance and the money wound. Um, getting in touch and loving your body and, and connecting with and meeting your uh, guardian angel and then um, integrating with and healing the inner child. And then the last one I put out a few days ago, a couple days ago was for healing from fear, shame, guilt, um, imposter syndrome due to money, love, the unknown failures, things like that. So that was an awesome meditation that I channeled. All the meditations that I do is a, is a channeling. Basically, I go into meditation and it starts forming and coming to me with whatever theme and we're supposed to be doing for that meditation. They're always really deep, very healing. They're astral um, projection meditations. And I invite you to take a look at those as well as my eBooks, um, The Essential Empath Guide, uh, the importance of cord cutting along with the meditation that, that will guide, that will take you through that self-healing. Very, very important. Big theme going on. It may come up in this reading. It's come up in most of the readings. Most of my clients from the beginning of this year have been really pushed to do cord cutting so they can take power into their body, um, release or reset energies with the past or with people in different ways. And so they can integrate, move forward and heal um, more restored in their energy much lighter. And that can work for people, situations, traumas, addictions, um, any of those things. So let's say you used to be really overweight and you lost a lot of weight, cut cords to anything that's attached to you being overweight. You used to have a gambling problem and, and it, uh, an addiction to gambling and whatever different ways that you can cut cords to that and that whole, that whole thing. Or if you want to stop any of these, anything, you can cut cords, reset energy so you can take your power back. Anyway, check that out. Um, and then I have the light, the dark, the spiritual war, and your energy in it. It's very important to know about that stuff. That's an ebook. Um, I think I covered them all. So anyway, lots of stuff that I offer on my website, YouTube, and podcast. Please partake. The ebooks, the meditations are all free. Um, so you know, my advising them with that coming out in any of the readings, it's not you know as a profit for me. It's a, it's for you to have these these tools for self healing. All right. So with that said, lovely. Uh, <laughs> where are we, <laughs> Taurus? Sorry, I almost said Scorpio. I'm like, that's not it. Taurus, we're going to get into it here. <sighs> okay, bringing in your um, guardian angels, archangels, and spirit guides. We're going to get right into this, um, this read. I'm going to pick our oracle and tarot cards we're going to use here. And again, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it, Taurus. Um, okay, let's get going here. Well, first off, that's been in every reading is the Moonology Oracle. It is the full moon um, reading, so we're going to get that. Um, we're going to use that oracle. It's been very helpful. And also the Archangel Oracle has been coming out in every single one. And with you, Taurus, we're going to take out and work with our Wisdom of the Fairy Oracle as well. That's Seven Planet Star. I love it. Okay, got my amethyst on top. And what's next? No more Oracle. So we have our three Oracle decks, uh, Moonology and Archangel Oracle. Uh, the Fairy, Wisdom of the Fairy. Okay, and then with the... Uh, tarot. Feeling the Angel Tarot. Angel 
chill chair out. Navigation we got going on here. And for uh, clarifying with the angel tarot, gonna use the light seers tarot. Okay, got it. Okay. So let's go. Up here. Okay, sounds good. Let's get it going with the moonology. We're going to use the moonology first. I just got done clearing all of these cards. So normally I, or not normally, sometimes I'm guided to light my sage and Palo Santo, but not this time around, Taurus. We are going to get into it right away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's too many, too many. Time to release negativity. It's time to release negativity. Taurus, full moon and Scorpio with this card. Full moon and Scorpio, time to release negativity. A new romantic cycle begins, Taurus. Very nice. This is the new moon in Libra. Time to release negativity. A new romantic cycle begins. I like this. So like I said, cord cutting has been coming up. <laughs> healing, self-healing in all the different ways that you may need to. So there it is. First card up, it's time to release negativity. Um, and this card here, a new romantic cycle begins. And so what this means is, is that you have the opportunity with timelines, new timelines to um, really work and focus on yourself, your self-love, your self-care, and that will bring in somebody that's going to really work with you um, in the future. So now is the time to start putting that into practice and you'll bring in that like energy with this full moon it's starting a new cycle perfect next meditate and contemplate new moon in pisces so there we are more affirmations that we need to do these meditations these self healings with the with the cord cutting with the abundance blocks and healing the money wound with integrating the, the inner child with releasing fears negativity doubt all of that stuff is in that meditation like i talked about earlier so here we go. It's pretty plain to see. It's just been a theme along with whatever else information we're going to get. I'm hearing, let's get one more. And prosperity lies ahead, Taurus, your own sign here. We have the new moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. Very nice. Very nice. We might be seeing a lot of pentacles in your reading. Um, we shall see. So yeah, you have a new romantic um, timeline. So you're starting new romantic cycles. Prosperity lies ahead. So a lot of abundance feeling here. But what you got to do, go within, meditate, do some self-healing, consider deeper healing. Um, we'll see about that. But it's always a good idea to do really, really deep spiritual soul-based physical, energetic healing to get yourself as clear, as neutral as possible so you can feel the energies around you, know what you're doing. I say, you know, it's really hard as an empath and a light worker to know what we're supposed to do if we're, if our windshield is all dirty and we can't see ahead of us, we don't know what our controls mean or say or any of this stuff. It's like getting into a, a cockpit for a you know, a, a, an airplane and like, okay, go do your thing. And you're like, I don't know how to ride, drive this thing. So it's kind of like that, you know, it's like the clearer we are in our energy, the easier it is for us to go step by step. Okay. I'm hearing, let's leave it at that. You guys, it is time to release negativity, meditate and contemplate on that. A new romantic cycle appears or uh, begins. I really like that because it's really, to me, that's like, even if you're with people, um, 
it's like resetting energies. You can also reset energies through cord cutting with the people, with your romantic partners. It doesn't mean you, you cut cords and all of a sudden that relationship falls apart. If anything, it gets better because you've just reset energies. You've taken back energy from the, the, the we into the me, reset it with you, and then you can reconnect. So um, if you are in a couple of them, consider, consider that. Um, and then prosperity lies ahead. Uh, you may be waiting on some news. That's some financial news I'm hearing. Um, so that feels like that's going to, that's going to be positive for you. Uh, positive news. Maybe you get a raise, maybe some bonus, um, that sort of thing an idea you get through your clarity through meditation and contemplation about your next moves maybe there's a couple of a couple of things that you've been considering getting into and so it looks like your uh ideas for that look good So if you're worried about it not taking off, looks like it would take off and there's prosperity there. So lean into that, okay? With our Archangel Oracle, we just had four cards that just popped out in a big dump. We have comfort with Azrael. I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to mend. So... If there's been any heartache, any grief, any loss, um, sadness from breakups or things just not turning out, whatever, any kind of that stuff, your angels and Azrael is with you to help you, soothe you. Compassion with Zadkiel, soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved, including yourself. So maybe there's some type of situation here um where things didn't go so great with somebody there was a falling out possibly um misunderstanding or words that were said in haste or out of emotion and not really you know how how people really really felt possibly having compassion for yourself and others um being open to getting over these things um, letting them go, releasing negativity. I'm feeling that connection, releasing negativity. So if there was some negative situation with somebody, I feel like it could have even come kind of out of the blue. Um, maybe you felt like, wow, I'm just getting all sorts of attacked and nothing really even happened here. Um, so that's hard to get past and get over, especially when you didn't do anything wrong, been there. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe that's kind of what this is. It's kind of like, you know, it's really hard right now because something maybe happened with somebody or a small group of people where it was kind of like, you're the bad guy and it was nothing like that. And it just, things got twisted or manipulated. Um, that could be one scenario I'm picking up on for sure, but just in general, um, have compassion with yourself, soften your heart with respect to the situation. Just try to be in love. Try to think of the soul, your soul, the other people's souls or soul, and not so much the person, the ego, the human aspect that always tends to help us send love because we think about the person we think about you know, Julie and, and her, her face, her energy, her, what she did, let's say, um, it's hard to see past that. But if you think of her soul or of her as a little child, that tends to help those two things. Okay. And next counselor with Archangel Azrael, you're a natural counselor. Many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. So, uh, I'm hearing like if you've kind of thinking, thinking, wow, there's a word, 
<laughs> if you've been thinking of having some type of job on the phone is what I'm seeing. It looks like that would be a good thing for you. You just have to really maintain your energy. Um, really keep your energy clear because every time you pick up the phone from a line for somebody, you're connecting with their energy. So it could be positive, negative, whatever. I used to do phone work and you can really absorb the energy of people depending on what you're doing, of course. But um, but I think it would be good because it shows me that you'll, you'd enjoy it, be talking to people, helping them with whatever kind of job it is. Um, just your natural psychic empathic ways of helping people, you know, that are either frustrated or upset, or they're looking for answers that you could really help them. Um, okay. And then Indigo and Crystal Children, um, Archangel Metatron, you have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children that are sensitive. So fellow children, empaths, um, if you have your own children, there's a very good chance that that they or one of them is an empath so so please be aware it's happened with that energy with them um and how you know they're an old soul they are they and especially now oh my gosh being a children being a child in this world these days uh, we just really need to work with them protect their energy because it is very intense there are, you know mo many of their worlds have been you know upside down and they haven't you know been around people that they know or their friends or their their loved ones less, like they're used to um, in a lot of cases and just a lot of upheaval for children for all of us but to really spend some time with the children in your life if you've got them. And then of course, your own self, your own inner child, getting in touch with that, understanding that you were an empathic indigo child and what that meant for you and how that, how you related to the world from that perspective, even if you didn't know you, maybe you thought you knew you were different. Like I knew I was different, but I didn't know that there was any word for it. I didn't know what that meant. I didn't know as a, a psychic physical empath. And the reason why my body felt the way it did was because of those things. And I could feel other people. I just always had a really odd perspective on life and felt things that other people didn't, but I didn't know what that meant. So anyway, so the more we can teach and connect and help children of the next of this generation, the next generations understand this stuff, the better our whole society will be for sure. Okay, moving on, Taurus. Let's get into oh the fairy. I was like, I know I had another oracle. The wild wisdom of the fairy oracle. We're gonna get into next here these guys over so thank you so much archangels what do we have asriel zadkiel asriel again actually didn't catch up on that the first time around and metatron with indigo and crystal children i'm also seeing you getting children into um sacred geometry um learning about it drawing it which is hard and fun. <laughs> there we go. Hard. Fairy tales, letting go detachment, moving on. Well, look at this card number 13, I believe. No, 19. Fairy tales, letting go detachment, moving on. Letting go, remember at the very beginning, let go of negativity, release negativity, meditate and contemplate, comfort, compassion for this situation. So yeah, maybe we have something going on with the lover. Maybe it's not even that new. Maybe this is older stuff, letting go detachment and moving on. Card number 19 from the wild wisdom of the fairy oracle. And let's get it. Mm -hmm. Where is that? Oh, right there. Thank you. Goodness. It's not one of those right to it moments like I usually have. All right, there we go. Fairy tales. 
Okay, letting go detachment, moving on. This is the card of seeming cruelty. How can you or another leave anyone who loves them and needs them so? But the truth is it is time to detach yourself, detach and set yourself or another free, even though it may seem you are abandoning them to a kind of death without you. This is not the truth. The truth is that you must let go of anything that is currently suffocating, restricting, or dragging at you. And while this is the most difficult thing for you to do, do what you must. It will be very hard and there is a chance you will face a great deal of guilt. Others may find you cold or, or fail to understand how you can leave someone so devoted to you. While you have had terrific experiences and wonderful connections, with these have come responsibilities that have accumulated to the point where you are identifying with them so closely that you no longer feel free. Please, one by one, take these burdens, anything that feels heavy, whose energy does not come from love, but from need, any demands and expectations that no longer meet your needs, and gently let them go, exclamation point. There's no rejection in this gesture. It is simply a time to reestablish your own personal boundaries. You may even be carrying burdens that rightly belong to other people, like we were talking about before. Please release them now, capital letters. By releasing them, you can call on your deity, angels, elementals of the universe to send these unwanted and unnecessarily unnecessary illusions we all call responsibilities to heaven. <laughs> Emotional freedom, lightness, and joy will then pour into you. Without this kind of clearing, you may well feel you are caring too much and are unable to set the path ahead of you. This card can often come up when there are issues of addiction, overeating, unhealthful weight on the body, emotional issues from the past, guilt of feeling of unworthiness, all loading you up with and causing you, all loading you up and causing you to take tiny painful steps on your journey. So really reiterating what I was talking about earlier with cord cutting and why it's so important. Um, I've actually never seen this card before a pretty new deck to me and I haven't like gone through them. Um, I like surprises. <laughs> so it's really interesting. Uh, the first card you got was it's time to release negativity, contemplate, um, meditate and contemplate this whole thing about comfort and compassion and and now fairy tales with this whole thing about releasing energy. So this is definitely a theme. Like I said, it's just been a thing. Um, this is a sign from the universe that by releasing these burdens, you are being brought closer to who you really are. Exactly, a divine child of light. As you do this releasing, tiny uh, streamer-like wings will sprout from your back and the beginning of the sweet and tender freedoms that, you are, that your birthright will make themselves known to you. You are now free to love and care for others more effectively effectively and you will be acting out of love not forcing yourself blessed be reborn one the time has come to let go and move on divinatory meanings you will see miracles take place remember we teach others how to treat us and you have similarly taught yourself what you feel you are worth and taught others to rely too heavily on you However, it is not too late to, cha to change. You are not refusing to save a life, though that is how it looks to your own critical self and perhaps to some others. At the moment, you feel your worth is derived entirely from being of service to others, even when you feel you can no longer go on. You are currently a one-person rescue squad, but until you help yourself to be free of such expectations, you will never be free enough to be able to help um, to, to be, wait, sorry. You will never be free enough to be of help to others. Resentment, guilt, and anger can leak into the service you are providing. Please contemplate a fresh way of communicating and being, and begin to love yourself and give yourself regular work breaks and time out when you can begin to respect your contribution. Other will, others will too. 
please set them all, send them all loving, set them all a loving, inspiring example. So this can mean a few things, definitely. You know, there's a somebody or there's a situation or there's a group or there's a job or any of these things that we need to release and let go of, take back our power, take back our energy, cut the cords from, like we said earlier, really important. I mean, I didn't even know this card existed, but it basically is so on point about what and how important it is to cord cut really truly it is so important to do cord cutting to, to take care of yourself energetically the weight that you lose energetically and how good it feels to do that will make you just be in awe of the results and so much of it you can do on your own like i said i have those meditations there's these actually there's these five amazing meditations that just came out since the 11th of this month not that i don't have other ones but the cord cutting one as well there's just a lot you can do now to start now now that only takes your time effort energy and and um, devotion to yourself to do it you're not supposed to be up here. <laughs> she is the naughtiest. That was Gypsy. Um, okay, so moving on, let's get into tarot. We're using, I believe, yes, the angel or, uh, sorry, the angel, angel tarot. I can speak. <laughs> I can speak. So. Taurus. Hopefully this is resonating and you're enjoying this reading so far. I know that it's heavy, but like I said, this is a deep dive. We, we are getting, getting into it here. Let's get some more information for you. But again, I feel like it's just going to be in this, in this, um, with this energy here. But let's see, because this is tied to also your your um your awakening your spirituality your your kind of everything oh those all came up in reverse look at that i've been getting eight cards and then maybe more depending so let's see what we got looks oh no they're not all in reverse one of them isn't let's see first card up the lovers Card number six, the lovers from the major arcana. Next card up, queen of water. Next card up, Lelise with archangel Azriel. So I think pretty sure release, yeah. It's release the death card. They call it differently and I can never, sometimes I, I get them wrong, the placement of what's what. Um, I will look it up and make sure though. Um, four of water in reverse. Next, the high priestess. Wow, already three cards of the major arcana, four cards of the major arcana, life experience. Next, the king of fire. So king of wands there. And next, the moon in reverse. The moon. Well, yeah, so we have release and life experience. And in the, what do we have? 16 life experience. So, okay, so life experience, card number 16 is usually the tower. Um, so we have the tower here, high priestess release. I just am not even gonna try. I just have a hard time remembering their placement when they're called different things. Um, my dear guy. Release of the death card. Okay, death card in reverse with lovers in reverse, queen of water. Um, death, the death card and release is in 
reverse. So you're getting release again, release, letting go for water, helping you to let go with that energy. Um, open, opening your eyes, high priestess, the tower. So yeah, definite changes. This leverage card in reverse is really talking about, yeah, the end to uh, some type of union here. Um, some type of situation is needing to be released quite literally here. Um, and again, this could be current and it could be old. This could be an old breakup, a few months, a half a year, even a year that is still really pulling on you. Maybe you're still attached, but not attached. So that's been like you're together, but not together. You're still in each other's lives, but you're not a couple. I'm feeling that there could be children involved for sure with that um, Metatron card with Indigo children. So that could be a part of a part of the, the stickiness that we have here with the with the complicated energy I'm hearing. Um, but nevertheless, it is time to move to move on. It is time to release. It is time to do all that because it will help everybody in this situation. There is prosperity ahead. So it's not like this is going to make everything fall apart. Nothing's going to be good anymore. Prosperity is ahead with your own um, new moon in Taurus. Let's not forget that. But this is a tower moment of things of revelation, deconstruction, and reconstruction. The king of fire in reverse. Yeah, we need to focus on our priorities, think about what, how we're communicating to others, and not beat around the bush. I'm hearing that. No beating around the bush about how you feel. You need to be really like very stand your ground kind of thing. Very, this is just how I, this is how it is. This is how I feel. There's not like a negotiation kind of thing. And if it's just you, then it's not a negotiation with you. It's really time to release, cut cords, do, do what you have to do to let that go. If there's been codependence, if there's been like a, a relationship that did break up, but there's been codependence on the other person because they're not letting you go, then you need to be firm and make them, you know, let, make them understand and not play into the manipulations and the neediness and the sadness or loneliness that they're feeling without you or even with somebody else somebody's dragged you into their own romantic turmoil they're leaning on you because they don't have somebody else you need to cut that off i'm seeing that for some people and here with the moon in reverse I'm hearing you need to use the entire cycle of this moon energy with Haniel. Oh no, this is, yeah, yeah, Haniel. Um, important psychic insights, uh, vents behind the scenes, release fears that'll hold you back. So there's more of that. So you need to use this, it's exactly what I was hearing. You need to use this entire cycle of this moon cycle from full moon to new moon um, on the 13th. So we have the full moon on the 27th, the new moon on the 13th of March, right after our Stargate, by the way. And then we have... Um, I'm not sure the next thing that comes after that. I'm kind of spacing on it, to be honest with you. But anyway, just or or to the next full the next full moon. So I'm hearing like full moon to full moon. It is really important this entire full moon to full moon. Let's just take a look. When is it? Um, So the March full moon is on the 28th. Oh, the moon sets at 5.55 p.m. Pacific. Interesting timing. So um, March 28th, so we go with this 27th to the 28th with our full moon. Uh, so this entire, I'm hearing this entire cycle is your time to take care of you. 
to work on cutting cords with anybody and everybody you need to cut cords with. And that takes time. You can't do, you know, one a day. You need a couple days in between. You can batch some things and situations together. There's information about that in the ebook. Um, but I'm really hearing from moon to moon, like I'm seeing this moon here is the first card we had. It's time to release negativity. And this last card here that we got, the moon card from the angel tarot. <laughs> release release fears that hold you back. It's time to release negativity. So it's stuff like this is not a coincidence. When we have these catty corner, same, same, same message, same message. This is very, very telling and important. Time to release fears, negativity, and everything in that pot of negativity. Shame, guilt, fear, um, unworthiness, um, imposter syndrome, all that stuff that we talked about, I did that meditation for. So that's got to be like one of the first ones you do, because that's really going to help you do everything else. So that's what, that's what I'm getting through for you. Of course, go as guided, but take a look at those meditations. They're on YouTube. They're on my, my podcast. Um, and you can do them in whatever order, but I really feel because this fear thing, I think it's being afraid of, of letting somebody go that they're not going to be okay. Or that if you let them go, even in, in emotionally that, um, there'll be some emptiness there, or you won't be able to connect again, or, or they'll hate you. Um, they'll think you abandoned them and then you'll be traumatizing them, but that's not true. You can take care of you without traumatizing other people. <laughs> um, you're not a narcissist. So you can take care of you without tra without traumatizing other people. Okay. Let's get into our light seers tarot just to see what we get to qualify and and uh clarify these cards they all seem pretty straightforward here you know we have changes um using the water um with this queen of water here just for healing i'm feeling care for yourself and others go into water use water for healing meditate in water go to water as often as you can bathe as often as you can be in essential oils in the bath um salts and crystals in the bath with you to really help you through this to really help you through this next month but i'm serious when i say please think full moon to full moon and making this about healing and and whether that means just a bunch of self-healing and taking care of you taking time off journaling drawing writing hiking swimming um uh whatever and or and actually doing some deep actual you know healing with another with a with a somebody like me or somebody else whatever it is this whole next month is all about that is what i'm hearing and i haven't gotten that for other people to be honest with you not like a, a full moon to full moon but i'm really feeling that here really feeling that here taurus that's what we're doing um, at least that's the advice. So, you know, you're, you're welcome to do whatever, but we have release, we have release, we have release, we have release, we have release over and over and over again with the fairy tales, release time to let go with the moon, with the angels in a couple of places in different ways. So we have Haniel with the moon saying, release what doesn't hold you back we have life experience that says a significant life event a powerful revelation that leads to change you want to spread your wings things are different now um it's about understanding the new and going and coming into the new the lovers are in reverse so that's about um like unity and togetherness and so this is a, a, in reverse where we're the opposite of that so we're coming back into ourselves Obviously, release is the death card. So death, rebirth, that always means a new cycle. We did hear from that over here. That the romantic cycle begins. So there is new coming in, but there's work that you definitely have to do here. Um, so there's just a lot of same, 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 same. Okay, um, let's get our clarifiers.
Okay. Whoa. Nine of Wands over the Lovers. Uh, Nine of Swords over the Queen of Water. The Queen of Swords over Release or the Death card. The Five of Wands over the Four of Water. The Knight of Wands over the High Priestess. The Seven of Cups over the over Life Experience or the Tower. Um, Ace of Wands over the King of Fire. So Fire, Fire, King of Fire, and Ace of Fire, or Ace of Wands. And then the Chariot in Reverse over the Moon. <laughs> so I just heard, so this, this Chariot in Reverse over the Moon is directly speaking to what I just got done telling you about, um, moon to moon full moon to full moon and this whole period here it's like you're not going anywhere until that's happened and completed like the next cycle like a real real movement and transition and and like anything beyond you taking care of yourself your healing your releasement you bringing power back into yourself is is gonna it's it's in a wait it's in a waiting period then it'll turn over and be really dynamic really dynamic i'm hearing so like oh my god so much energy so much releasement so much like let's go we're out of here like oh my god this is what i needed but it's but we're in reverse here with the chariot over the moon so it's like until we do this whole cycle and really take this seriously now of course you could just you know let this go and not do anything but you'll see that that's just is going to stretch stretch out um this queen of swords with the death card or the release card, queen of swords, looking at her thinking, contemplating, she's up in her head with those swords, with that air that, um, uh, and that's exactly the kind of energy that you need with the death card is thinking about, you know, where you're at and where you're going. So that feels really, really good. Um, the nine of wands with the lovers, the nine of wands straight up. So she's empowered. She's steady. She's sturdy here with her decision. Um, the nine of swords over the queen of cups. This is about releasement. So this is about just letting go letting it all go, letting the emotion go. I'm hearing, use the energy of Pisces, use the energy of Virgo to really get into that tougher exterior Taurus and let yourself cry, let yourself release, let yourself go, be comforting with you. I'm hearing the angels go, remember we said compassion and comfort. This is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. You have to be gentle on yourself and allow yourself for this releasement. This queen of water is saying, yes, care for yourself. Well, go to the water, use the healing water. Even your tears are healing when you release, um, when you release in that way. So this is about letting, this is about having the power to let go and release and letting all of that negativity rise up. It's making me emotional thinking about it. Oh my God. Woo. Letting that heaviness rise up and just, you'll just feel like, oh my God, this is what it feels like to be me without all this. I've been there. I've had that. So it's making me emotional because I know what that's like. And I, and I wish that for you. Um, and then you can, after you do that, you can be like, so this is the, this is the first card. This is the second card. So then you can look at how different this energy is. I mean, goodness gracious. Can they be any different? You've, you've released, you've let go. And then look, it's like, oh my gosh, your head can come up. You can see, you can feel it's you. What are you? What do you feel like? You know, all this good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Okay. And just more psychic abilities coming through this. You know, once you release all this crap, <coughs> you're going to be able to rise up, level up, connect more because you're not having the burden of all this other stuff on you. So you're going to see like, what do we have here? The high priestess, ace of wands, 
um some real psychic stuff your queen of swords um uh what else here queen of water very psychic um so so even though taurus you're definitely more grounded in all of that you have such empathic psychic abilities you you are and i think this i think this is a hard time for you because it's like you know you you are so loyal you are so steadfast you are so loving and giving and it's just been too much just too 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 much it's time to let go it's time to release let's not beat the beat a dead horse here but we're we're getting that over and over and over again um this knight of wands over the high priestess i mean this is just really intense energy coming through um to give you power to your um from your higher self to you and you were like your higher self being the high priestess and you really feeling that energy coming through very next to it right next to it is the ace of wands more of that intense fiery energy ace of wands knight of wands um uh yeah so um the seven of cups is just you just sorting stuff out sorting stuff out over this month you've got time sort it out get it all out do a lot of writing automatic writing again meditation reading research healing in water seek out healing from other people however you're guided to do that taurus but again just really take this in full moon to full moon remember full moon to full moon that's what i got here and releasing releasing letting go of the fairy tale letting go of if it didn't work out you know it's okay we're moving on you'll be good they'll be better for it okay taurus that's it i hope you enjoyed this reading i hope it resonated with you i hope it helps i hope that you follow the advice please go to my website check out the books check out the meditations um reach out if you're so guided you can um, get a, a personal reading with me schedule healing i have a the consultation the free consultation with mini healing that you can if you're interested in the involved now program this would be a great time for that um, to get to get into that um, anytime anytime is a great time for that whenever you're ready so um no i'm not a pushy person at all i just like to help people feel better because i can so that's it i want to thank you again so much for being here so 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 much infinite love and blessings don't forget the keys to create i love you already and always live in love taurus until next time Mwah. bye